Well, we are yeah. close to a deal right now with Mexico. We don't know what that would be. We do know that it is uh, uh, fast moving where they're dotting the I's and crossing the T's. The former U.S. ambassador to the U.S. Economic Council, Terry Miller. Ambassador, thanks for taking the time. Thank you, Neil. Um, you know, I guess in the beginning of the year, sir, if we had been told of all the trade impasses we had that we would settle with Mexico first, we probably would have, you know, uh, been deemed crazy. But that does seem to be the case here. What do you make of what's going on? Well, I think they're close to a deal, uh, at least on the auto sector. And my suspicion is that what we're going to get is a, is a deal on autos that perhaps doesn't really affect uh, trade or our businesses too much. Uh, the real question is whether the U.S. is willing to drop some of its other uh, less reasonable demands in areas like a sunset clause for NAFTA or investor uh, state dispute settlement processes. Uh, to see if the U.S. is willing to let go of some of that in order to, to get a deal. Of course, we still have to bring Canada into the negotiations as well, and, and it's not clear um, uh, how much um, interest uh, the Canadians are going to have in, in raising additional issues or, or dealing with, a, with something like dairy products, which is still on the table there. You know, Ambassador, how do you think the president's playing this whole trade thing? Well, I think it's all about politics at the end of the day. It's when you look at the economy or at uh, various commercial enterprises or trades, it's very hard to, to see who's winning from any of this. Uh, you, you'd look, uh, it'd be very hard to find somebody. The American auto companies don't feel like they're winning. They feel like they're losing. Mm. Uh, U.S. employees, we just heard very sad reports uh, from you about uh, employees that are negatively impacted in autos and and in uh, the marine sector. So where, where are the winners in this? I, I would say it's the politicians that are the winners. Uh, they're playing on uh, the public's fears and um, it's having an impact. So uh, I, I think this is all about politics, ab about the midterm elections. And, and I think that's true not only for us, but for the other countries as well. Do you think Ambassador, the president is more pragmatic though than we know that he will settle for you know, something that might be more of a vanilla deal than an in-your-face deal. We got a hint of that with the South Korean agreement, and that maybe some of these others will be like that. He can claim victory. The other side can claim that they dodged a bullet, and off we go. Oh, we had another hint of that with the talks with the European Union right, last right. month. So I, I, I think, yes, that's very much a possibility, and that's perhaps the best outcome we can hope for at this point. Ambassador, thank you very much. You're very welcome.